let's open new mail. But first things first. I got a birthday present here from myself. So let's cut it open. This is a little quiz question. Do you know who holds a patent for this peanut packing material? So let, oh, this thing is well packed. Huge bubbles. This bubble wrap is not for impatient people. It is triple two five, only thirty years old. Looks good as new. And I found a genuine tech power cable. So let's power this puppy up. Oh, it works people, it's alive, channel 1, boot, huh? okay, channel 1, channel 2, nice and bright, oh, focus goes, it goes to town, it's nice, right in the middle, bright display, yeah, it looks nice, ground, ground, let's hook up some probes, So I'm not sure what's going on here, after all this is only my second scope, my first one is over here, and no I didn't get it in 70s, I got it maybe one month ago, so yeah, I'm not very experienced in this, should it go to ground, huh? I don't know, so DC coupled, channel 1 is on, ok let's make it, it's AC coupled, uh, I'm not, ok, 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 So channel 1 test signal, it is this one is times 1, not really good, 
let's put times 10 for this one so let's adjust it to uh, AC coupled channel 2 beautiful this puppy works like a dream I don't know if it is in calibration, probably not. It is 30 years old after all. Single sweep. So how do you single sweep? How do you do single sweep? I don't know. Yeah, I have to play with it obviously, but this thing is is beautiful. Mmm, buttons. It turns, it pulls, it pushes, it's, I don't know, it, it shows something in, you know, in green, not that lousy full color bullshit. And of course, it works even if, if I don't connect this ground lead, as many of you might have noticed. So, yeah, I mean, what can I say? Dials, buttons, monochrome displays, BNC connectors, probes, the the labels that no one can understand. What does it mean? Uh, trigger, slope, level, TV, field, uh, SGL, sweep, PP, auto, triggered, ready, reset, uh, hold off. I mean, yeah, it's it's really geek heaven. A shout out goes to Arno from Germany, uh, who sold me this equipment. Uh, Germany looks like really the place for engineering in Europe. Electrical engineering also, they're famous for mechanical engineering. So yeah, beauty and joy forever. So enough of that, I will do separate videos about the scopes, if you're interested. So let's get on with opening the mail. This thing as usual, I'm not sure what is this, generic Chinese envelope. Okay, yeah, nice, those are banana clips to, to crocodile leads for power supplies, multimeter and whatnot, I'm not sure how much copper does this thing contain? Of course, it doesn't say anything as expected, but yeah, I needed one of these and it seems fairly nice. I can remove the banana plugs and plug in the bigger leads, wires if it is needed. Let's see the next one. Okay, this one actually I know what it is, I cannot miss it. It is. Yay! A spool of solder. Okay, it has supposedly 1.2% flux. Uh, this is one thing to consider when you are buying uh, solder. Uh, if it contains flux, of course, the soldering is easier for you. Also, it is uh, 60, so-called 6337 alloy, which means um, it's eutectic. Uh, that means uh, the temperature of uh, solidification is uh, just um, a, a dot, actually. When it cools down, uh, it uh, goes from liquid state to um, solid state uh, at one point in temperature. Otherwise, because this is two, it is alloy made from two metals. It is eutectic and on, at only one particular composition. Uh, at other composition there is uh, some um, 
one component solidifies faster than another, then you have uh, small particles of solidified component inside the pool of molten component of other metal and uh, it looks like a pasty thing so it is not good to to work with um, it has some um, advantages that it doesn't solidify fast uh, for example uh, pipe fitters used this property to put solder on the joint then uh, they have some time to wiggle it uh, before it cools down and solidifies um, uh, in order to get um, a seal that is uh, uh, that is leak proof but for soldering you really want to buy eutectic and this is 0.3 millimeter diameter it is just much easier to um, to dose it to 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 control how much solder goes into your joint if it is thinner for thick wires you you always put too much and it is ugly and it's not good so 0.3 is really thin 0.5 is fine but do not go to do not go above 0.5 for general electronics purpose I learned I have this I don't know I have this since primary school this spool of solder and it is also flux cord really thick it has some advantages when I'm soldering some wires and so on but you don't want this it is just you cannot control your soldering with this Okay, next one, uh, this is a board of some sort, hmm? I don't remember ordering board, it says household articles, gift, of course, what else, it really is gift from me to me, so yeah, the customs declaration is correct. All right, so this is, let's open it, and it arrived also faster than I expected, and it is thinner than I expected, it is 7 mm thick, so if I say 7 mm or 9 mm, you know what it is, you can see also, or you don't see, but anyway, this is M SATA. I never know M SATA. Is it a mini SATA or micro SATA? I think it's mini SATA. S A T A for you, uh, Yank and other English speaking people. So M SATA to serial out adapter. And uh, it is, this is actually, it's not plastic. Well, yeah, it is plastic, but this is PCB with black solder mask, oh, <laughs> this is fancy, is it not fancy, and plastic uh, this casing, and what it contains, as far as I can see, just M SATA connector, SATA connector, and voltage regulation, it is voltage regulator plus two capacitors, and this is it. So serial ATA has 5 volt power and uh, M SATA has 3.3. So this is obviously needed and the rest is just breakout pins. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not well equipped with cameras and such. So this is okay now maybe you can see it it is what is it utc use uz something something 3.3 oh my god i will have to check out the 
data sheet for this. I'm not sure what kind of regulator is this. And some capacitors. Focus. Yeah. Some capacitors are here also. Contacts on this MSATA side doesn't seem to, they are not gold plated, they seem to be tinned. So that is not really nice for really fast bus like this. On the SATA side they seem to be gold plated. And another thing, these um, bushings, they move, or, or this one moves. So, mm, the good side of this, you can put it to this position, I think it is 7 millimeter, uh, 70 millimeter length, or something like this, this is 50 millimeter length. And yeah, ultimately you can solder it to get it fixed. There's little hole here, so uh, what I should probably do, but what I will not do is to solder those things here where I want it. This thing is not from China. I bought it in a computer store last week. Uh, not that I needed, but it was at a really low price. I don't exactly know what was going on there. Because as soon as I bought it and make web, made web shop payment, they removed it from the web shop. And uh, I was uh, afraid that uh, that I will not get it, that they will mm, delay my, um, they will not return my payment in time and what not. But yeah, I got it sure enough. And now I'm sorry that I didn't get uh, more of them. This is silica gel. Plenty of it and it is M SATA SSD. It is 80 gig one. It's not huge. And it is Intel 530 series. So it is not crappy one either. It's fairly, it's not the most recent uh, generation, but it's pretty nice SSD. It will come in handy. Intel inside. So it is it's supposed to be 50 millimeter long and yeah, it just fits like this. So yeah, nice. Now I have SSD also and this is how it looks mounted up. And yeah, you can um, get away without soldering these bushings. Uh, the it has some springy action, as you may know if you did some of this kind of stuff, MSATA or um, uh, MPCI or anything like this, MPCI Express. So this force kind of component of it holds it laterally so it doesn't um, move in this direction so much so it is pretty okay i mean it's fine it will do the job without soldering and it's kind of nice i like it black thing without label it's i actually like it beautiful i hope the connector or the voltage regulator doesn't crap out on me but i have some confidence in it and to the last package, and this is, can you guess what this is? Probably not, but, but I know. I hope this noise is not uh, bothering when I'm talking now. I... Uh, 
And ta-da! It is cheap as Vichy multimeter, digital multimeter. This one costs twenty or twenty-one dollars shipped US dollars, so it is really inexpensive and I think it is a good meter for the money cost next to nothing and does something relatively good it's not yeah it's not fluke I don't know but yeah please twenty dollars I will not um, Heavy. I will not review this thing. Um, it's just I, I. There are plenty of videos about this thing on YouTube. Really, I don't know if I will do separate video about it or not. If I find some interesting features, okay. Okay, it's it feels solid. It doesn't squeak really. The rubber is nice. It feels confident. In the hand, the range switch is well working. It's not; it's a bit rough, but but mm, it's fine actually. But as rubbery buttons, it's not clicking one; just your ordinary membrane buttons. Uh, let's see what else is here: K-type temp probe and a set of leads. Yeah, they are fine. I mean, it's not f fine silicon wire, you know, and probably it doesn't contain much copper, but it is decent. The tips are sharp. This one is sharper than the negative one, but yeah, it's fine. So, this uh, thing, okay, let's try this one. The greatest. Yeah, yeah, really. Uh, when you put it on this, well, it doesn't instill much confidence at all. You have to probably use two hands to operate it. But yeah, it can be forgiven. And anyway. I don't think it will break because it has some um, like mechanical retention uh, notches here, so it probably just slip off if you force it too much. Mm, but yeah, it's not the greatest. So it obviously doesn't contain any batteries. Let's see what kind of batteries does it accept. We are screwed, but no, we are screwed if I cannot find the screwdriver, but yeah, this is not likely to happen. Oh. Some clumsiness is kicking in. Yeah, this is uh, just tapping screw that taps inside plastic directly. No bushing, no metal bushing, of course. And this is what? Oh, yeah, it is triple A. I'm happy they didn't use 9 volt batteries because I don't like 9 volt batteries and multimeters like to use them. But triple A's, they couldn't use double A's, I don't know why. Well, yeah, let me see if I have some triple A's lying around. I found some batteries, as you may have guessed it, by disabling the remote control for television. So I'll just try this. Yeah, 
it works. I will not test it. I will just turn it on like this, see if it is broken or not. Then like I said, maybe I'll make videos. Okay, this ones have some plugs inside. Hmm? Yeah, very secure thing. So yeah, let me Uh, it has diode test by default, so I have to press this shift. Um, uh, diode, okay. Uh, I have to press the blue button for continuity. It maybe yeah. I use I would we use continuity more than diode test, so I would prefer the other way around. So continuity tester is actually not not that bad. Hmm. It's pretty fast. It's okay. I don't mind. Continuity tester and the leads they feel big enough. Like maybe the manufacturing manufacturing quality is not the best, but. They seem decent enough to use occasionally. Volts A default to DC, not AC, like flux, some flux. This is so. Temperature tester. Ah, I will not bother to plug this in. So, yes. It's nice to be useful addition to my uh, workbench, my laboratory. But now I have to end the video. People want to watch television and they're stuck to one channel. And yeah, one thing I didn't get was carrying pouch like other people got. And this is Vichy, Vicky, what? It's not spelled Vichy like like this, come on, no, anyway, it's not spelled as I expected it to be spelled, but yeah, it's a little bit cheaper than before, 20 bucks before it was 30 bucks, maybe something like this, so yeah, pretty nice, so thanks for watching, see you.